joining us. That house you want may be closer than ever to getting as listings for homes have been the biggest, have seen the biggest price cuts in the last two years. We're going to be joined right now by Fox's Bowen Kedrovich in New Orleans. Bowen, what is maybe behind some of these cuts to home prices? Hi, Andy. Well, part of it's because there are just more houses on the market. So many, in fact, that some sellers are slashing their prices to try and attract buyers. According to Realtor.com, almost a fifth of available homes across the country decreased in price. And the largest price cuts are in the South and Southwest. Buyers in Tampa are seeing home prices fall almost 10%. Charlotte at 9.5% and Phoenix at 9.4%. Senior economist at Realtor.com, Ralph McLaughlin, says the federal government may lower interest rates, which would drive down mortgage costs. This, will, this could motivate some people to buy. We do expect some further downward movement in mortgage rates. There may be some sellers who decide, well, maybe I'll keep my house on the market with lower rates. Maybe we can get some buyers in a combination of lower rates and maybe a slightly lower price uh, might be enough to entice the marginal buyer to come back into the market. The, me the median price for a single family home in July was $439,950. Now, that is uh, down over $5,000 from June. Andy, I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much. And of course, maybe a lot of people thankful that they're falling finally after some time. But can you maybe give me some understanding of any other questions you asked that uh, expert there? Because it's certainly interesting, some of the locations, Phoenix, Denver, Tampa, Charlotte, North Carolina. Do any of those locations have anything in common? Yeah, Andy, well, according to a uh, survey from Zillow, uh, they say that most homeowners are nearly twice as willing to uh, sell their home if, they're mo if their mortgage rate is 5% or higher. So it seems like a lot of these home sales definitely weigh in heavily on the mortgage rates that uh, people have. All right, that is a very good point. We could see the Fed Reserve lowering that interest rates at the end or near the end of the year. All right, Bowen, thank you again. I appreciate your time here on Live Now from Fox. All right, thank you so much. All right, let's continue on a very important subject to so many people trying to dive into that home buying experience, trying to figure it out for the first time uh, is, is very, very difficult over the, over the last several years.